a whole bunch of puck bolts. Bro, I'm not kidding you guys. This thing is like, it's like lifting a dumbbell. I ain't no big guy, but uh, this is pretty heavy. <laughs> What's going on guys welcome back to the all three garage channel dave and i are out here today and we're going to try to make some more progress on this 1990 long nose pete 379 in the last video where we kind of left you guys off is we got that hood off and well it's still sitting there and dave already got the frame cart built up of what we're going to do to put the hood on its own rolly cart we got to get the caster wheels here they're in the old man's truck he'll be here in a little bit uh, we went to harbor freight and picked them up and actually saved a lot of money on the one we did the sleeper with, those were about, you know, 20 bucks a caster wheel, but that is a little bit heavier than the hood. So uh, we went with just a, a lighter duty wheel and it only cost us probably about what? Six, seven bucks a wheel? Yeah, I think so. So that was an awesome deal. But for this truck right here, what we were working on before we picked up the camera was flattening out this surface where it used to mount the uh, frame rod that mounted to the radiator to hold that and support it up. Since we are changing this truck up, we're going to take them off the cab because there's just a lot of wear on this cab and it was starting to bow and flex this out. And we got the C channel that ran right here that connected up the dash support to the front of the cowl to kind of give it that universal support. And we got that over here, painted that up, scuffed it all down. So that's going to look like brand new when we put it in. Nothing crazy, just trying to clean it up. Uh, don't want to put a rusty part back in. So we're going to get that put in, and then hopefully we can get that cowl panel mounted up today. we got some seam sealer as well. Uh, trying to just get all the, everything we need in one spot so we can get it all done. So hopefully we can get that taken care of. We're going to let this dry, throw that in, and then clean up the underside of the firewall a little bit and see if we can't get that cowl mounted in. So let's uh, let this dry for a little bit and get working on this. did here is traditionally if this is a you know being it's a non-unibuilt truck meaning that the cab and the sleeper are not on air ride it's a frame mount setup um, the bracketry that mounted the radiator uh, in place with those big arms went on the bottom of this bracket that was the uh, hood bushing and what we did is we ground it off because we are going to put the cab on air ride so we ground off this and we don't want the cab floating around and also connected to the radiator because that means the radiator is going to move as well. So we just cut off this piece and ground this all smooth and this flits up really nice there. Uh, we got that backing plate which is floating around here somewhere and that goes behind this and it mounts up right there. So no longer is the radiator going to be supported to the cab. It's going to be its own separate. We're just going to bend the original rod down and connect it to one of the horn mounts here as well. Um, so that's going to be independent of the cab. So no more stressing on the cab or bending up any of the bracketry or the firewall because we did away with that. So nice to know this one's done. We're going to go ahead and grab the other one and do that one as well. So we're taking a little bit of a break from doing the cowl panel. We got all that nice and secure. So we're ready to start laying panels down. But we got a little bit of a surprise here. The guys over at Truck Shrouds hooked us up with a whole box of stuff to help us redo this truck. Um, if you guys haven't already, go over there, check them out. They've got some of the best products when you guys are doing any of these aluminum panel replacements. And you can see over here, we got brand new steps for the hood. The new side steps are the front fender supports. Those are awesome, beautiful parts. Both sides right here. And then we also got in this, we got brand new hood insulation for either side of the panels. We got brand new top panels for that hood because of the cracks in it. 
We are going to pull those off there and, and try to get them welded up so that way we got spares just like we're doing with the cowl. Try to save everything because it is so expensive to replace this stuff. And also on the bottom of here, we've got our brand new sleeper panel that accommodates the window because we are going to put a window in this rear sleeper. So we got the panel all the way at the bottom uh, underneath all of the new hood panels. And we also have a few new support pieces for this hood because like you guys saw in the last video, some of those... Um, those inner support panels, especially where the spring hooks up, is all just rotted out of there. That aluminum oxidized and cracked over time. So we got all new parts to replace this. We are super excited to try this product. We've been hearing nothing but good things about this stuff. And a lot of their stuff is actually used on insurance um, purposes. So it's, it's made to basically bolt right up and uh, huck rivet it on. And we're going to try out our new huck gun because we also got a whole bunch of Huck bolts sent with it. Uh, they send you a whole kit of any panel that you're looking to replace, as well as brand new collars. And we got a whole package of the 316 magnet grip hooks, and then also some of the collars for the 316 magnet grip. I'm not kidding you guys. This thing is like it's like lifting a dumbbell. I ain't no big guy, but uh, this is pretty heavy. Then we got collars for the bigger rivets here, as a bunch of the stainless ones that go around the hood. So we got everything to do this job from the back panel to the cab and the side pieces. So let's get these things pulled out, take a look uh, what they look like in all their glory and um, see if we can't get the cop panel and the side panel put on now that we've got all of our ribbons. So let's get on it. All three garage is becoming a little bit mobile. Yeah, so I heard these guys work on big trucks, so I bought my I brought my big truck down here, even though it's an H2. So this is our buddy Al. Al's uh, quite the Hummer collector, and he had some issues with his wiring. So he liked to do all the trucks up with all of his big LEDs. So we needed a little help. We had to put some resistors in to help slow down the the ticking on the blinker. So we got our master wire at Dave here. And I saw Dave pull some spaghetti out of a big rig. <laughs> I figure if he can wire that, he should be able to figure out a set of tail lights. Yep. There Hopefully. you go. Hey. Grandpappy's down working on his truck today, cleaning out some filters. We got our Hummer here, the old 359 sitting outside. Boys are working on a truck inside. Mechanic Phil's working on this one. As you can see, head is gone. 379 the boys are working on I don't know they should give this truck a name big silver or something like that I don't know this one's all done gotta run it up and uh, want to put a rear main seal in that one yet and then you guys all have seen what they're doing with this one getting it all getting it all ready to go back together a bunch of new panels in the back and they're over there working on 
the bunk this afternoon trying to get all these structural integrity back in it so they can stick the back panel in it and start putting it all back together. All right, guys, we got the cowl panel on and we got most of the rivets all the way across, you know, the top of the firewall here and the window. We just left a couple out so we can get these paint the side panels in. And we actually got this one here and this one in for the side just to hold it up there. And it, it's looking like a cab again. I mean, and it's going actually super easy because we did a lot of prep work. You know, we cleaned all the surfaces off and and uh you know got all the goo and seal why don't out. you tell them how fun it is sticking that huck gun up underneath the air tank and all that oh, yeah, that's a that's a little difficult these ones are going to be um a little bit difficult right here with the uh cab mount bracket but as you can see if you come down here and show them a little closer we do have to drill out uh these holes i mean that's only what one two three four five holes on each side that's all we got to drill out but two remember these panels are built for the 94 yeah. and up truck and yeah. we're kind of doing some retrofitting with the new um evap system right here the new ac system whatever you want to call that i know there's a technical name but we're not doing that so yeah, i mean all the holes line up like perfectly um so even look at the fitment back here i mean it is on par truck shrouds does an amazing job with these panels um, granted, this is a factory Peterbilt cowl, but even just to pair that up with a truck shrouds side skin, just incredible. And also, like I said, they sent us all the rivets to do it. I mean, guys, if you need these panels, we can't tell you more. Go call truck shrouds and get them ordered. You pay about half the price from Pete, but you get about double the quality. Yeah, for sure. We put the new back panel from truck shrouds on, and the only thing we didn't do was uh, around the the, the window, I guess, hole in the top because we need to leave these open for when the window frame, because that actually, the window frame actually goes, or the bolts through there. So uh, next, I think that's gonna be it for this video. And next video, you're gonna see us working on the hood over there and pretty much redoing the whole hood. All new panels from truck shrouds are actually sitting right there. You wanna show them? But if you guys like this video, like and, and subscribe and leave a comment of what you guys think we're doing here and uh, we'll, we appreciate it. So we'll see you on the next one. And remember guys, keep them wheels rolling.